Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is an introduction to a long series of probability theory. We will start from the fundamental axioms of probability then move on to different probability distributions including both discrete and continuous. In the discrete we will be starting from Bernoulli then binomial, Poisson, negative binomial, geometric and hypergeometric. We will try to connect all this distribution with each other. We will derive the binomial from Bernoulli, Poisson from binomial, negative binomial from binomial, then geometric, hypergeometric. We will connect everything. In the continuous distribution, we will be discussing normal distribution. From normal, we will derive the exponential distribution, then gamma, then beta distribution. We will derive each distribution from the before, from the distribution which we discussed previously. So in this video we are going to discuss only the fundamental axioms of probability and what is the probability. The conventional way of defining probability is equal to number of favorable events upon number of total outcomes. For example, throwing a dice. What are the total outcomes when we throw a dice? We are denoting that total outcome as a sample space. Sample space is nothing the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So when we throw a dice, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 outcomes. In the denominator, we will write 6 outcomes. Now. What is the event we are looking here? For example, getting an odd number. Here there is 3 odd number. So 3 by 6. It is 1 by 2. So the probability of getting an odd number when we are throwing a dice is basically 1 by 2. This is the conventional way of defining probability. But this might not be correct always. For example, what is the probability of raining today? There are two outcomes. It may rain, it may not rain. And what is the event? It is rain. So 1 by 2. So this is not the correct way of answering the probability of raining. So it will be 1 by 2 every day. There will be 50 percentage of chance for raining in every day. That's not a convincing answer for that. The problem here is that Raining and not raining is not equally likely. If it is equally likely distributed, then conventional way of defining probability is okay. Otherwise, we have to depend on other way of probability. It is called relative frequency. For example, we are taking thousand similar days in terms of temperature, season, etc. And look, out of that thousand days, how many days it has rained? For example, I am taking the data of thousand days for last many years during the summer. And I found out that out of this thousand days, only 50 days it has rained. So the probability of raining in a day, that day is very similar to those thousand days will be 50 divided by thousand there are very less chance to get rain. Therefore, the concept of probability in terms of relative frequency becomes more logical and intuitive. That is denoted limit n tends to infinity, number of events or frequency of event e or whatever event divided by number of trials. So far, we have defined probability in two terms in the conventional way as well as in terms of relative frequency. Now let us discuss some of the basic or fundamental axioms in the probability. As we have discussed before, there is a sample space. It is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Totally, there will be 2 raised to n subset. For each and every subset, there will be some probability attached. If we take all these outcomes together, that's also a subset. If we take empty set, that's also a subset. We are denoting subset by A. So the probability of A, 
A means any subset from the total sample space will be less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 0. It means it lies between 0 and 1. So probability of yes will be 1. Probability of taking place any of these numbers will be definitely 1. Probability of happening nothing, I mean probability of null set or empty set will be 0. And probability of A will be 1 minus probability of A complement. In the next video, we will discuss about the probability of union of two events, probability of intersection of two events, then conditional probability, then Bayes theorem, then we will start different discrete distribution, then continuous distribution.